In this video, we'll introduce the method of separation of variables by solving this differential equation using separation of variables. So the first thing we want to do with this is uh, change our derivative into the Leibniz notation, dy dx uh, minus cosine 3x over y equals 0. Now, this process is basically a, an algebraic process, um, so there's many different ways of going about doing this. Um, generally, what we want to do is get any piece like this without a derivative over on the right-hand side first, and then we'll multiply both sides by dx and see where we are. So when we move this to the other side, of course, it becomes positive. We have dy dx equals cosine 3x over y. We multiply both sides by dx and we have dy equals cosine 3x over y times dx. Now our objective is to get everything containing a y uh, on the left along with this dy and everything containing x on the right along with the dx. So you can see at this point all we have to do is multiply by y on both sides and we have y dy equals cosine 3x dx. And now we've got the variables separated. We have uh, just uh, we just have a y over here with our dy and, and a function of x with the dx over here. So it's time now that we integrate both sides or take the antiderivative. So we have y integral of y dy equals integral of cosine 3x dx. And uh, the integral of y dy is 1 half y squared. Oops. That's a y squared plus a constant that I'll call c1. And you'll see why I'm, I'm labeling that c1 here in a moment. Now over here, um, we're doing the antiderivative, so we're looking for something whose derivative is cosine 3x, that would be sine 3x. But when you do the derivative of sine 3x, we'd get, uh, let's see, we'd have cosine 3x plus an extra 3 if we do the derivative. So we need a 1 3rd out here, so that that 3 multiplied by the 1 3rd gives us a 1 that we have right here. So we have one-third sine 3x, and then there's a plus c over here, so let's call that constant c2. Now, uh, it's pretty standard with this sort of problem that what we'll do is we'd like to have only one constant. So if we subtract c1 from both sides, this goes away, of course, and we get a c2 minus c1, which is uh, it's a constant minus another constant, which is then a third constant. So we'll have one half um, y squared equals one third sine three x plus, and I'll call that c three. Now at this point, um, we could be done. Sometimes we'll want to solve for y, but in this case, uh, let's not. If we if we try to solve for y, we have to square root both sides, which involves a plus or minus. Um, so in this case, let's leave it, let's say we're okay like that, except that what we may want to do is um, we could get rid of these fractions if you wanted to. So let's, let's just make note that this is okay. We could call it done right there. If we were to multiply both sides of this by 6, 6 times a half is 3, so we'd have 3y squared. 6 times a third is 2, so we have 2 sine 3x. And of course, we'd have to take 6 times c3, which would be some other constant, c4. So um, we could put our answer in this form. The question is, is that better? Um, not necessarily, but it, at least it, it has no fractions in it. So anyway, that's how we solve uh, this differential equation using separation of variables.